So when you push your code to GitHub, you absolutely don't want to put any API keys or sensitive information in your commits. And if you do and it accidentally goes up there, you need to delete that whole repository and start again because it will still be in the history. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways of which to store your sensitive data that you can access easily from your code and share across your whole project. So this is the code we're working with here. It's very basic, but it could be part of something much larger. All it does is it uses the Open Weather Map API to get some information from two cities that I've set out here. And this is my API key for this, but that's, this will be uh, disabled by the time this video is put up. When I run this, we get the information back here in the JSON format that we were expecting and everything works fine. Now, the first way that we can do this is we can create a new PI file and then we can store our variables in it and then we can have access to them where we need them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new file and I'm just going to call this one creds.py. All I'm going to do is copy this variable, this API key here. Copy that. We're going to put it in there. And now we can delete this line and we can import in creds at the top of our code here. Let's save that. And where we've got this, we just want to call creds.api key. There we go. So all we're doing is we're utilizing the PI files that we can import into our project and then have access to them here. So this was all saved. This will should now work and we'll get the same result back. So all you need to do is you need to make sure that you add your creds.py file that has your information in like this to your git ignore so it never gets committed up to your project. So that's the first way. The second way is much is better for when your projects get larger and you need to have more environment variables. Uh, or if you're using a framework like Flask, for example, this is a good way to do that too. So we're going to use python-.env to allow us to access the .env file I'm about to create. We can store our data in. So if you need to install this, uh, you want to do pip install. So you do pip install and it's python-.env like that. That will install everything that you need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now create another file. And this one is going to be .env. Now this file is going to have this API key in it, but we don't need the quote marks here. We'll just close that up like that. Now we need to change a few things in our uh, file to be able to use this. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove that import there and we'll get rid of that for a second and close that off. So we need to actually import this in. So we're going to do from .env uh, load dot env and we're going to create a new function here we're going to say configure and we're going to put our load load dot env in there so having a function that configures things that you can put things like this into is actually a really handy way if you ever extend your project so you can have your configuration done in this um, in this function and then we're just going to add it to our main function so it runs before anything else so now we have this loaded up here, our .env file. To call it, we need to use OS. So I'm going to do import OS. And inside here where I want the API key to be put, I'm going to do os.getEMV and then the name, which was uh, API key. Uh, like Now we're just off the edge of the screen there, but you can see that I have this os.getEMV. So any uh, environmental variable you have in here that has the has the uh, the name attached to it, you can call it using this .getEMV here. So I move that back over. I'm going to run this, and we'll see that we get exactly everything back that we wanted. And all we needed to do was use this .env file. And again, this .env will not be committed to our GitHub page, so it will be safe. And we would just need to then replicate this on any server that we wanted to run this code on. So it will keep everything nice and safe and secure. So this is just a sample of some of the projects that I've been doing. If you're interested in more, I think you should check out this video right here.